So we've got 100 watt rated 18 volt um, soul perk panels. Sometimes you can catch them on sale, but I'm putting uh, four of these up on the roof of my shed and then I'm gonna put them in series to make 72 volts and then that's gonna run a grid tie inverter inside the shop. All right, so we got everything spliced. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these panels into series. We should be good to go in the grid tie inside of the shop. The grid tie inverter, the inlet is right here. I'm gonna put 72 volts of solar power into here and then this is gonna plug into the outlet. That's going to back feed power into the grid. All right, moment of truth. Positive and negative hooked up to our grid tie. I gotta be careful because that's energized. I'm gonna plug this in and see what it does. We got 81 volts DC coming in from those panels. 222 watts, looks like so far. 3.9 amps, 64 volts under after it got under load. Show you guys that it is working. I disconnected the negative and now it's connected. Shows 81 volts, it's gonna start up in five seconds. And that's when it starts connecting the panels to the load. And now 82, 77, 62. 222 watts. You can see right here where the power is going back into the grid. If you are not familiar with grid tie inverters, what this is, is it, it plugs into the power source and then it matches the frequency, makes sure that the phase is the correct orientation, so to speak. It's the easiest way I can explain it to you. When you have electricity that comes in at two different frequencies, they smack into each other and create a short circuit. This does, it actually monitors the input. So now essentially what I'm doing is subtracting however many watts I have up on the roof and subtracting that consumption from the house. And one last thing about this, it shows you the operation, PV mode. Uh, if you want this unit here in particular, um, it's gonna be in my link tree, uh, that's in my bio. But you could see it has a total uh, kilowatt hour count counter right here. It lets you know how much power is actually going back out, back into the grid. So far we only have 226 watts going back into the grid.